As this man caught her, the woman cried out. However, the bear did something incredible. Angela has never been in the woods before, having been born and reared in a main town. And now at her husband's whim, the woman was in a difficult situation. Angela didn't know how to act in the woods, so she was terrified of every that crossed her path. To keep wolves and foxes off their path, the squirrels jumped through the trees, and even larger animals could have been present. Angela was worried and automatically looked around. Simon enticed her into the woods on the pretense of going for a walk together, only to abandon her in the wilderness. Angela's eyes welled up with tears, and her sadness became treacherous. And then an hour went by. Her husband, though, was still missing. We'll find out her entire story at the end of the video, but first, like and share it with others, and make sure you're subscribed and have the notifications bell turned on. The young people had been living together for five years and were all quite content and joyful. That was primarily due to Angela's calm and charming personality, which she used to round off sharp edges and smooth out any disagreements. She was already a self-sufficient woman with a healthy bank account and her own real estate company when she met Simon. It wasn't a gift from her wealthy parents, but rather the fruit of her labor. Angela had accomplished everything on her own. She was one of the first realtors in our community to use the internet to sell real estate. She worked as an agent between the seller and the buyer, earning commission on successful transactions. Angela eventually opened her own real estate office, which helped her to become even more successful. Simon, the dashing womanizer, quickly grasped the advantages of marrying such a wealthy woman. As a result, Simon wooed her like a tick, doing everything in his ability to entice her from the first moments they met. Even though Angela had no money, she was gentle and compassionate with him. After the young couple married, the young woman enthusiastically agreed to have Simon move in with her, allowing him to give up his room in a cheap motel. Angela accepted the notion that her newlywed husband would never get a job and would spend most of his time in front of the TV, holding a can of beer and a bag of chips. Nevertheless, Angela found herself alone in the middle of a vast forest hostel to uninvited visitors as a prize for her love and acceptance. Furthermore, Simon abandoned his wife at a critical time in her life, when she needed his help and support the most. The poor woman was baffled as to how her husband could be so harsh. So she discovered she was gravely unwell and was getting sicker by the day three months ago. So she went to the doctor to find out what was wrong. It was subsequently discovered that the woman's eyes were being lowered by cancer. Angela was told by her doctor that she only had roughly a year left to live. This isn't a death sentence, M.S. Taylor, the doctor added. There is treatment available, and if she starts it suit away, she will have a decent chance of beating this. They've even able to boost the recovery rate by several times thanks to advances in contemporary medicine. The treatment is costly, but he believes that nothing is more important than one's health. I've discovered that I must fight for my life and receive therapy regardless of the cost. Angela agreed to what he said and wanted to start the treatment without caring how much it costs. She was relieved to have her hopes restored even though felt broken a minute ago, but now she sees the good in all of this. When she returned home from the hospital and informed her husband about the treatment option, he was unsupportive and according to him, a LL of these doctors are fraudsters who only cared about getting money from her. However, it will all end in a cemetery as he said. The man clenched his hands and growled fiercely, but Angela told him that they were talking about her life here, and it's not like she was short on cash. Here should be sufficient funds in her bank account, and if not, they can always sell the agency. Simon simply responded with a pursed lip. He was clearly of a different mind on the subject. After that unforgettable talk at the hospital entrance, the man came up with the next plan for Angela's future and money and got complacent overnight, agreeing with his wife on everything. The woman is overjoyed by the changes in her husband's attitude. As a result, Angela was not suspicious when Simon offered to take her for a walk in the fresh air. Simon purposefully drove her deep into the woodland, literally pushing her out of the Mercedes. Angela yelled as she clung to the car door. Simon, however, did not give up and sped towards the city, tired by her illness and tension. She strolled aimlessly through the woods, unsure of her destination. Angela had no idea how long it had been since her husband had dumped her in such a horrible manner. While H unjur and thirst afflicted her, aggravating an already terrible position, Angela began to sob openly without hiding under a tree. 
thinking that it would probably be simpler if wild animals tore her apart. Angela didn't even aware she'd fallen asleep until she heard a bear whimper and the moment she opened her eyes, she saw a large bear dragging her away. However, the enormous monster leads her to Hunter's tent. A large dog stood intently looking at the owner. A man wore a beard and carried a rifle on his shoulder. He's most likely a hunter, but what exactly does he anticipate from Angela? Why is he unable to continue walking? By that time Angela had already accepted her fate and was preparing to die. The man with the bear appeared to have no intention of leaving anytime soon. Instead, the hunter began hastily gathering dry brushwood, presumably with the intention of building a fire once the guy was successfully, he took a pot from his hiking backpack and placed it on the fire after filling it with water from a bottle. The hunter threw in some mushrooms and a can of meat-filled beans, and the tantalizing aroma of food filled the air around them right away, making Angela's stomach growl with hunger. The stranger grinned, and with the spoon, he swirled the contents of the saucepan. Angela was quickly enjoying the delicious dish provided by the friendly hunter and right after that, she was fatigued after she had filled her appetite, which prompted her eyelids to close on their own throughout her dream. Angela sensed the man picking her up and carrying her away. The sad woman tried to fight back, but she passed out. Angela awoke the next morning, having slept for more than 12 hours, and was surprised to find herself in a small, tidy room that smelled like pine needles and herbs. Angela attempted to get out of bed but was unable due to her weakness. The door opened at that very time, and a fragile old woman entered the room. The stranger introduced himself as Dahlia and handed Angela a mug filled with a tangy, scented beverage. The woman smiled shyly and received the old woman's healing drink on a daily basis. It turned out to be a kind woman who used alternative medicine to treat folks. Angela was saved by some animals, including dogs and her pets, as well as a bear named Baby. Dahlia lived alone in a house in the middle of the forest after exhausting all of traditional medicine's possibilities. Helping individuals suffering from various ailments became the meaning of her existence. Everyone who came to her for assistance was assisted. While walking through the forest with the elderly woman, Angela was wondering about the name of the name of the man who saved her in the forest. Liam was his name and H. He's a pleasant individual. In an automobile accident, he lost his wife and daughter. He has become a hermit. Angela was so grateful for their act of kindness, thanked the women and stayed at Dahlia's house for nearly three months, during which time she formed a great bond with the elderly woman. The young individuals had no idea what had happened, but they just knew they wanted to be together at one point. As a result, they began dating and spent the most of their time together. The most startling aspect was that Angela felt as if she had no disease at all following the old woman's therapy. Angela, on the other hand, has already made up her decision. She didn't want to leave the old woman's forest home and end her bond with the courageous animal baby bear. The crafty womanizer had brought it on himself. He hired an actress to play Angela in order to withdraw money from her bank account. The bank security personnel performed an excellent job, and Simon was soon crying in the police station, testifying. The man denied any wrongdoing and stated that he only wanted to withdraw his wife's money from her account because she no longer needed it. Nonetheless, Simon couldn't disguise the fact that he killed his wife by abandoning her in the wild woods. Unfortunately, law enforcement personnel were unable to locate Angela in the jungle, and she was presumed dead. As a result, the woman's return to the city created quite a stir. The hospital doctors, on the other hand, were taken aback. They conducted tests and determined that Angela was in perfect health. Jerome was hugged. Angela smiled thoughtfully and strangely. Thank you to Dahlia, the forest healer, and her brave animal for dragging her to Jerome's tent, where he takes her to Delia's house after she gets a divorce from Simon, who was convicted of attempted murder. Angela sold her city home and moved with Dahlia and Jerome to the suburbs. Next to Jerome and Dahlia with her pets, the young couple used the money from the sale of the house to create a facility for sick patients who had lost all hope of healing. For the first time in years, Angela felt happy. She knew they were doing a good act by assisting people who needed it the most. She was already pregnant at the time, so Angela and Jerome were preparing to be the best parents the world had ever seen with their first child. Angela, on the other hand, appeared to be the happy of them all. 
She couldn't wait for the sound of the child's laughter to fill her home. That was all for today. Thank you for your time, and if you want to read more stories, subscribe to the channel and share it with your friends.